RR Baby Boy calls out 607 Unk after beat he purchased from Sean Ferrari was later sold to JT for her hit single OK after he claims he let Unk hear his record. That doesn't even surprise me. Of course not. As an artist, the hunt for beats can be a hard one. And when you find one, find the one you're excited for, how does you. Man, fuck all this reading paragraphs and shit. Get your paperwork together. These motherfuckers... Look, he bought a beat. He should have gotten the paperwork for the beat. It, it, it It's simple. It's business. When you get something... When you pay for something, you get a receipt. So you can write it off in your taxes. These ninjas out here running around pulling... Beats from everywhere, YouTube, not registering or copywriting their shit. And somebody takes, and somebody uses it, and they probably, and they probably copyrighted their shit. Yeah, so, I mean, let's see what he got crazy say. how the universe work and how shit be straight panning out. So, boom, I'm in it, yo, this last shirt, September. I'm in it, yo, you know what I'm saying, I meet Rory here, and we just chopping up. Real nigga, cause I fuck with Rory, stand up nigga. So, I buy this beat from him. I do the beat, snap out on. Sean Ferrari is the same dude that uh produced a lot of the sexy red songs. That female Gucci man, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he he uh he's definitely. I mean, he's got some hard beats, but he's got a big head too. So the beat, you know what I'm saying? Make a video to it. Had a whole plan to it. You know what I'm saying? Shit happened, cause you know what I'm saying. My boy took a little minute. He be busy. He took a little minute shooting the video. I mean, uh, finishing up the video. Type shit, it is what it is. But boom, I'm, I'm, I'm locked up. You know what I'm saying? I heard a song could come across the little radio station. It's JT, and I'm hearing a beat. I'm like, damn, this beat, this beat sound familiar. Ooh, beat. If you had that paperwork, my boy, you could be suing JT and getting all that money back. I'm telling you, man, that sucks. They fucked you over That's what legally. Huh? That's Guzzi's girlfriend, right? JT? I don't know. I know that name, so... I don't know. She's out there for the internet for, for everybody. Um, But... Get your paperwork right. Like I said, had he had his paperwork for this song when he came out of jail, lawyer the fuck up and sue JT, sue the label, sue Sean, sue everybody. If you had an exclusive agreement, nobody else could use that work it's yours so yeah motherfuckers just don't have their shit copyrighted or or correct in any way shape or form they just want to rap you can tell the budget for jt was like Way bigger than the others. So she she's got that bread. No, she's dating Uzi. She's got that bread. She should dating. you should everybody buying beats from now on needs to get their paperwork for that beat. Their legal name. If 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 your producer does not want to give you out his legal name, don't even do don't no. Move on. Find somebody else. It's business. Alright? I feel bad for I really I genuinely feel bad for the guy. I genuinely do. Also, he could have just bought a lease. He could have just paid him 50 or 100 or whatever. I don't know how much he paid for him. He could have just bought a lease. A lease is a non-exclusive agreement. And she could have bought the exclusive rights. So, got to play ball out here. All right, let's go.